You're about to watch the Polly Detmerts channel. Enjoy. Oh, Go on the end, Miko. On the end. At a gas station. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect barbecue place. Yes, Miko, this looks like the perfect barbecue spot. I'm glad you thought of this. <laughs> Miko back the trike in so nobody would see him. Because <laughs> we're going to do a little barbecue at the gas station. This is going to be funny. Hopefully we don't get kicked out of here. All right, Miko, let's unload it. No, we are not. We're not in good hiding. It's okay. All they can do is kick us out. We do have a trash can here, but you will see a lot of trash on the ground. Anyhow, let's get this going. All right, I directed Miko to get this thing started so I can do a little hot dog cooking. What's so special about this hot dog cook? Well, we're gonna use a Suncrust grill at a gas station And uh, Miko's gonna eat an American, well, American style hot dog. What's that mean? It simply means with mustard on it. He's never had a hot dog with mustard on it. He's always had that, he always has that red sauce kind of stuff on it. So he might not even like it. Let's see how this goes. See if he can get this fire going. He's a Filipino, he can get this stuff lit up pretty quickly. Here on the Sun Crust Barbecue Grill. I'm gonna get us some drinks. All right, Miko here, he thinks he's taking me to school. He, uh, he's showing me how to light this Philippines charcoal. And he's doing the charcoal chimney effect because that, that charcoal burn box has holes in it. So he just put a fire underneath the burn box and I think it might get it lit up. This charcoal sucks, so can't wait to go back to the U.S. and have some real charcoal, Miko. Nah, I'm sure he's going to get this going. He's getting it lit. I'll do the cooking. It's going to be a Filipino's first American hot dog. <laughs> well, while Miko gets this fired up, I'm going to enjoy me a little Philippine beer. San Miguel. Pilsen. Kind of light in the ass, but uh, it'll it'll do on a hot Philippines Thursday afternoon. All right, so we got these tables here. There's a variety of them here, and uh, I was hoping the one I would get is the one that we're at. How cool is that? I know you had a hard time sleeping knowing that you were gonna do this today. Is that true? <laughs> Miko says yes. <laughs> so the charcoals are getting heated up pretty good. Just a matter of a little bit of time, we'll be firing them off. All right, I know I called it American hot dogs. They are considered German Franks according to the label. It says the taste of the true European recipe. Well, guess what? There's a few missing, which means I did try a few. They don't taste like they're German. They don't really taste like they're American. They kind of taste like they're Filipino hot dog. Oh, we got a spectator come to see what we're doing. And uh, yeah, we're gonna throw these down. And I'm gonna show you how they package them here in the Philippines. They're wrapped again in plastic. They're all like that. Why is that, Miko? He says he don't know. Okay, Miko, let's, let's start opening those up and we'll throw it down. Looks like this fire is good enough. The wrapper has this knot and then it's kind of, kind of open in. You just take that. Pull it off, just like that. All right, we got four down there right now. I don't think we're gonna eat that much. 
but we'll take some back home and we'll give some a hot dog here if they want it. That's gonna be the last one, Miko, because I only got five hot dog buns. And these are Philippines hot dog buns. Not too bad, they're pre-cut. I know I know they're gonna cut. I know one thing though, if you refrigerate them or anything and you go to put a hot dog in there, that bun's gonna fall apart. So it's best not to refrigerate these. All right. Yeah, looking good. Like a champion, Miko. On the Sun Crust Barbecue Grill here in the Philippines. Since we got here, it's gotten a little almost like foggy. There's a nice breeze, so it's kind of like blowing it out, but got a little smoky looking and that is what it is it's smoke uh, the rice the rice fields are once they harvest the rice they burn the remains and you can't go anywhere in the Philippines without smelling that smoke of some nature it's okay it's a good day in the Philippines with the Sun Cross barbecue grill all right, we have a performance failure here. Um, one of the hot dogs still had that plastic wrapper on there. <laughs> I have to blame Miko. What do you say, Miko? Was it me or you? Miko says it was me. Oh, well, me meaning dead merge. Okay, that's, uh, man, look at those. Those are looking good. They look a lot better when you don't leave the wrapper on. Probably my fault. Americano is not used to taking plastic off, off of a wrapped hot dog. Now I'm kind of like wondering, <laughs> is there plastic on that one? It's hard to tell. Oh well, I'm sure that plastic is going to taste just fine. <laughs> Trying to quickly hide the evidence of the wrapper still being on there. And uh, he threw that one back on there. That one looks like Crap. Right, Miko has declared these done, and I think they are. They're done enough. He's gonna move them over to the cold side of the grill. And Miko, if you see a dog, just give that dog, give that dog that one, okay? <laughs> yeah, let's get a little color on it first, so even a dog knows when a hot dog's good. It's time to eat some American hot dog, Miko. <laughs> was about to get his own his hot dog. He's gonna build his sandwich. And uh, go ahead, dig in, Miko. Miko's like, what the heck are you putting me through? I didn't, I didn't sign up for this. All right, so we're gonna get a little dab of mustard on there at least and see if he likes it. Here, I'll, put, I'll do the honors. Americano, putting on the American, Americano, well, French's mustard. We'll put it on this side, okay? Okay, see if you like that. I promised him if he doesn't like it, he, he could eat the rest of it without mustard on it. We got more spectators over there looking, over, looking in as Miko takes a bite. <laughs> Filipino eats American hot dog for the first time. What is the verdict? It's hot. That's what he's saying right now. Am I eating it? <laughs> is my awesome? My awesome? No? I'm asking him if it's sour. He says it's good. Miko says yes. Success. Do you want more mustard? Okay, that's up to you. You can put it on, okay? I'm gonna grab one, and I'm gonna enjoy a hot dog myself. Americano. And a German dog.
Somehow it just tastes better with this. <laughs> You're watching the Polly Detmerts channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I'm going to give that to a dog. Oh, there's our first dog in the neighborhood. You want that puppy? Huh? Huh? Watch out, it's hot. Don't want to burn your little lips off. Yeah, he's happy. <laughs> he's skittish too. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't stick around. So I would call this stealth cooking on the Sun Crust Barbecue Grill a success. You know, and it's also a success because a Filipino ate a hot dog with the all great and almighty mustard on it. He didn't have no sweet stuff on there. He had that, that bitter mustard on it. Miko says he liked it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll take his word for it. So thank you for watching. From here in Ocampo, I'm Polly, and this is Miko. We're out of here.